Today we're making the King Minus Apple, submitted by Kyle. And I can only assume it's the King Minus Apple because of the Midas Cup that Kyle got down in NOLA. This occurs to us halfway through the video, so. Right. Yeah. And until then, we're just going to Instagram. And it was submitted way before that. <laughs> Check out our new ebook, Explorations of Rum, at homecocktailmenu.com slash shop. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Shaw. I'm making sure my co-host, Ian Andrews, is paying attention. Like a share this video. What? Today we're making the King Minus the Apple. Submitted by Kyle Wood, who we I met down in Nola. He submitted a few drinks for. I don't know why cool. this is happening. Oh, because Cargillian the Third is our 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 our, our executive yeah, producer. We out the first night. He came back for a second. I know. We yes. didn't scare him off enough. We went, we went out with Kyle. He we, if you've watched the tour video. Yep. Ian captured the first time we actually met Kyle, right. like right hey, on film. What? Now David's in the chat room. I'm kick, kicking myself because we had the camera there, that. and I didn't record a meeting with David. I got a picture and I put uh, it up on yeah. Instagram. Is he so not? I'm sorry, David. He wasn't. I meant to get you on camera, and I just spaced it. He wasn't in the the pan that you did. A, no, I think a, I did that before they showed up. You'll, you'll see I'll leave right in, in the video yeah. that I did with an interview with uh, Max from Cocktail. And We're stuff. just going to have to meet up with you again next year, David, so we can get you on video. And he lives down there, so it won't be that hard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, this recipe, the King Midas' apple, is... Midas' apple, this apparently you don't pluralize it because of an S. Uh, one and a half ounces of Schneier, Schnauer apple Sch liqueur. Schneier. Schneier. One and a half ounces of Grand oh. Bourget. Or... A corked Grand Gala, and then five ounces of lemonade. Just get a um, corkscrew. Uh, a corkscrew thing. Do you have a corkscrew? Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Well, the shit. That's the problem with those bottles. The same thing happens with Grand Marnier. Now the trick is, can you get in without the cork? Same thing happened corkers? with Salerno. Oh yeah, but I got a new bottle of that. Oh yeah, no. Can I get it without what? Getting cork in the bottle? Yeah. It's always a trick. And the best part is you can't put the top back on. I know. But you can just use a regular cork. If I had one. You know Time to go is, drink some wine. It's because they're using real corks. They're not, they should be using the synthetic corks. <laughs> go drink a bottle of wine, Jen, quick. I don't drink wine. Well, there's that. Well, call Jaleetha up real quick. <laughs> yeah. Roll it outside. That is the ingredients, my friends. The drink is a shake straight into Collins glass. Garnish with a lemon wheel and an apple wheel. Then serve. We're just going to serve. Because I don't have the garnishes right handy. I'm not going to cut a lemon just for garnish. We had a lemon, but we used to fix a drink earlier in the week, and so that is the story. And he manned it. Yeah. He couldn't. He couldn't cut it and squeeze any of it. He just had to he man all the seeds into my drink. <laughs> and it helped. Us. That's how it works. It, it did help. Let's well, the seeds didn't help, but the the drink itself was fine. Uh, so this is a, uh, a citrus uh, lemonade forward drink, which is nice. Shot up. Oh, oh, shot, 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 shot. Bartender shot. Bartender shot of lemonade. You get all of that. Um, Let's see, today, Friday. Oh, did you guys know we have a Roku channel? You should go... Wait, you have a Roku channel? Roku that up, or whatever that is. Roku's, all the channels are apps, so you just download the channel. You can actually do it from Roku.com. You go to your, you log in, and you say, push this to my Roku, and then you go to your Roku, it'll be there. It's got a nice CMC logo. You can watch all the shows. They're all curated for your pleasure. Somebody's pleasure. And only your pleasure. All right. That's how Am I going to put ice in this, you think? Five, eight ounces? I'd probably put an ice cube or two, huh? I would. You need ice cube in it. Pressurize. What's that? You need ice cube in a column, though. Yeah. True. Yeah, so while we're at sales, I've been a bunch of fans. I did some yes. selfies uh, with people that... Me too. Um, they were ussies. Ussies. I ussied with everybody. Yeah, which is kind of awkward. Not not always. That was cool. Uh, I mean, we, that, we, that, that was cool when some person came up people. to you and said... I don't mean to bother you, but can I get a selfie with you? And you're like, do you know who I am? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they just want a selfie with some yeah, random person. It's just weird. Like, what? You... You're like, yeah, or else I wouldn't have asked. <laughs> Normally, people go, oh, come in, Cox, just gotta get a selfie. I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, no, the reason I ask if you know who I am is because I'm afraid they're gonna think I'm camper English again. Yes. <laughs> or something else, and I wanted to at least make it like. You do. I want to make sure that when you you go home, you're not like, look who I got. I got a picture with with Dale DeGroff. And they're like, that's not Dale DeGroff, right? So I, I just feel awkward if they don't want to know. Well, we met tons, tons of people from the show. It was great. We met yeah. uh, Kyle, David, Christopher from Sweden, of all places. Yeah, this is true. Uh, um, uh, I want to say uh, Sal. Uh, Sal. Uh, that's what I would say. Yeah, Sal. Yeah, I think it was Sal. From uh, Salvador. Salvador. Yeah, from uh, Texas. Yep. 
Yeah. He was there. We met. Uh, well, I met briefly uh, Cody. Dude. Going around. I uh, know. We, we ran... sent me a message on uh, Facebook yeah. or. No, it was cool. Then I met the co- the cocktail bar. He came up and introduced himself. I've known for like he, he's seen him for years, and I didn't. I didn't yeah, seemed like a one cool, time. Seemed like a cool guy. I met uh, a couple people. They never told me who they were. Met the guy from uh, Barrels and Tents Ginger at the. Uh, Cafe oh, yeah. Beignet there. Yeah, I've sent him a message. Yeah. Uh, I met... Uh, the guy this... from the... Was it the Bitter Truth? What was the Bitter's guy there? Bitter Truth. No, we didn't get no. to see the Bitter Truth. We were no, supposed to meet with the Who's the guy with the Barrow's guy? Barrow's attention. Uh, that's, um... Uh, uh, he's he's a kind of a journalist... Okay. Um, TV-style personality for cocktails. Thing. Whenever somebody needs, like, some, something about cocktails, yeah. like on NBC or ABC Morning shows up, and they'll bring him in. Yeah. Where the, I'm, I'm available... Uh, but <laughs> so there was him. Uh, we met them at the at the beignet place, yep. right? Uh, I know because I sent him a message too. Uh, I just and this is just the, this is just the people who've watched the show that we met. I mean, yeah. we also met all the people we interviewed, which was which right, was awesome. which was cool because you get to meet people in the industry, yeah. and they all seemed really cool. And I I did me- message Paul from uh, De Serrano, and he's yeah. like, anytime you want me over, I'll come over. Nice. And I'm like, cool, we're gonna yeah. do a whole week. To- I, I feel like I feel like we jipped him on the interview just because it was kind of like we didn't have a place. Even though they were saying, yeah, but that was there. probably the the quietest of the interview. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but we were doing it in a hallway outside your room. I feel yeah. like we, we we lacked the like we could have had a tasting. the aesthetic of the tales. Yeah, but so, once we so be awesome puree, comes up. perfect puree people from yeah. Boston. Yeah, they were really cool. Yeah. Half the people we interviewed were from the place up here. We're all interviewing them in, in yeah. Nola. Like, well, and then weird. half the people were from England, and That's a true. quarter of the people from Brazil. So it was true. fun. It was a good time. It was a good time. We could talk about that trip some sometime. Do that recap. Ah. Um, and then the, the niche people, if everything goes well, hopefully we'll be making them an ebook. I hope oh, nice. for the fall time period. Nice. Why'd you say that? Is this a, it's a niche. Oh, okay, this is a niche. Yep. Same we get like a same box. as uh, Stro and Maison. They have the stuff up there. Yeah. Yeah. We just got a whole. Cr- they sent a, a, a box and they have another box coming next. Yeah, they sent it to Jalita. Yeah, mm. they brought them over. I, and yeah. so then they said something was broken in the box, so I listed off all the stuff, and they're like, oh, so all the Maison broke. I'm like, oh, wait, wait, no, we gave that to Dan, that's not, yeah. that wasn't coming here. So I got to worry about it, so we have more of that coming in. Oh, nice. This is good. It, uh, you know what? For some reason, I get, like, banana nuts. <laughs> yeah, it's weird, huh? And it must I be from really... the orange in here, and the apple, and... So it's orange, apple, and lemon, right? It should be like a fruit punch. But it's heavy on the lemon because obviously there's more lemonade. More lemonade. So you read it. It's like a lemon cello flavor to it. A little bit. Not as much apple. Just because it's thicker, because I think this is a, a, a thin yeah. lemonade. So I think these things thicken it up a little bit. It, I just get like the, le- the like the lemon flavor with um, the ethanol, a little bit of ethanol. In it. There's no core spirit in this drink. This mm. is all liqueur. Yeah. Um, yet it's still it's more water- cooler. Yeah, it is a cooler. It's water. It's watered down by the lemon. When I, when I saw this, I actually looked at the Vizio, the, the Trello stuff earlier today. When I saw this, I was thinking, that sounds like uh, a standard offering on like a Chili's or Nuno's menu. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's big. Kyle works at a sports bar. He does, yeah. It, it, it made sense to me. It would make, I, I don't know where Kyle, I don't know. I, I didn't think that was available unless he just makes it some. I hate it. Could be. Theoretically. He could be winging it. Um, yeah, he, I don't know. He may be a cocktail savant. And he's I, just I, like, I would lean in that direction having tasted a couple of his concoctions. Yeah. And things show he up. was the drinker of the Midas Cup, so I wonder if this is... Oh, that's right. That's true. So we Midas went to Bourbon O on, oh. on Bourbon Street, and they had the convenient. Midas Cup cocktail, which was like a, a plastic jug that looked like a big golden champagne bottle. Yeah, the, the, looked the like the wrapper you wear on your Yeah, neck. and it came a thing, and, and Kyle got it. It was the Midas Cup. Instagram. Yeah, it's, yeah, it is on Instagram. It's, it's on, if you go to Instagram.com slash Everyday Drinkers, I yes. think I post on Instagram. It, it's actually a picture of Julieta, who you've seen from the show. She sticks a straw into his Midas cup, and they both share the drink together yes. at the Bourbon Alley. Because that's Julieta. Yep. Kyle was a good sport. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's like, and she was probably so drinking most of the oh, yeah. day. There's they were Sal, there's David, time. there's Kyle. He's got that's selfies of everybody. I don't have selfies of anyone. I had to selfie everybody when I... Uh, yeah. Hey, that's that's a selfie of me and and, and Christopher. Yeah, really I don't right. have these pictures. I don't have had these pictures. <laughs> he's got pictures of people with my fans. But that was, was I totally forgot about the Midas. Well, every yeah. fan I had to selfie with, because how? I mean, I never thought. I'd I'm always just like what, and then they're like, Shh, and then they walk off. I'm like, okay, that just happened. That's weird. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah, always nobody's around when they're. I know. <laughs> At like one point, this is great. One point, 
The elevator takes freaking ever. Yeah. And I didn't need to go up. She needed to go up to the elevator. You guys went up, I think. So everybody goes up the elevator. Literally. I'm like, oh, well, I'll just sit down in the seat and wait. And it's like, oh, come make I'll just take a picture with you. And so the three of them, and one of the girls that was there, I don't think knew who I was, but she, so her friend was explaining it to Which, her. So we just selfie. take one anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, I'm like somebody who anybody's going to care about. You, you may and, be famous. And yeah. And then they seven. walk off. So I'm like, Okay, I'm just gonna go over here now. So now I'm, I'm, and then I meet Kyle. I'm like, oh yeah, there's somebody over there a selfie. And I don't, what am I gonna say? Oh, you guys left, and all of a sudden somebody wanted my attention. It's just weird, but it actually happens. It is, it is strange. Being I'll send you mine, David said. Oh, there you yeah. go. Anyway. Yeah. yeah, I don't have the, I don't have a selfie of anybody because they're on everybody else's. Yeah. Phones. Oh yeah, because yeah, you got a picture with you. Yeah. No, I think we met David's wife too, also. Uh, yep. Kim. Kim. Yeah. I'm, I'm turning Score. names for some reason, but. That yeah. was cool being dude. Yeah. You know, El Libre was like the the cool cool place to be because like yeah. everyone was there. Yeah, it was the whole place was just us and the fans. Yes. Well, like, there were a few people that came. They, a few they people. come in and they leave, or they're yeah. probably well. They're like, like, oh, these people are cool. It's we're not gonna, a very big place. No, no. If you it, when you see if it's not it's not out yet here for the live stream, but it should be out by the time you guys have seen this. Where are your posts? But watch the, the me. Yeah, I'm looking for your post so I can click on your thing. I don't know. Anyway. Um. You, if you watch the Cocktail and Sons, the part one of the Cocktail and Sons interview, uh, Ian does a pan of the place, and I put all that footage in there so that you guys can kind of see what it looked like. We we're recording, but we're talking about a place. The bar was probably smaller than this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the bar itself. Like the whole really a bar, yeah. But yeah, the, I mean, if the, you put a table over here, area, yeah. that would have been like the size of the entire place. It was it was tiny, uh, but if you can get to the El, to El really Libre cool, and you like rum. They will make you the Hemingway daiquiris, the Mai Tais using Merchant Reserve, like the right way of creating rum-based cocktails. Tiki to from Tiki to Islands and stuff like that. This is a place that you definitely have to hit. Small. It's a couple. Not to mention they make an excellent pressed Cubano. <laughs> they also do. They have some food there. They have some food there. It's pretty good. Um, so if you some good cookies. If you need some food, you know you stop by, grab the food. You'll know you're there if there's construction all over the street. And apparently, it's been <laughs> going on be for right, over a year. Well, over a year. So, they may be close to being done. I don't know. You haven't posted on Instagram in forever, have you? Oh, I know. I'm working on it. I'll Damn it, man. I was, I'll post this. All right. We're done. I'm teaching you how to drink. drink. That's know, really, really good. Yeah, like gin. Mm. Uh, a little bit. Because not a lot of juniper, mm -mm. but a lot of um, almost like a floral gin flavor to it. Yeah. Not but... something you get out of beef eater traditionally. I like um, this. This could be a good drink.